is in this video we are going to see a, uh, whether the push and pop operations will modify the flag bits or not so let us take an example uh, the problem statement uh, with this problem we will see whether it, they modify the flag bits or not first the question uh, statement is clear all the flags so uh, we have to clear all the flags in the flag registers so that we have to do first as a first point then low 0 0 h in the accumulator so accumulator is also clear and demonstrate that the zero flag is not affected by the data transfer instruction so here we have to demo that data transfer instruction will not affect the flag registers so what we are going to do is we have to move a value 0 0 to accumulator so move itself with the data transfer instruction and then we have to check the flag register whether it has zero bit is uh, set or not because since we are moving the value 0 0 to accumulator we, whether it affects the zero bit because when the zero bit will be set when the uh, result of any arithmetic operations or logical operations results in a zero in the accumulator so we are going to here demo that data transfer here we are doing only movement so that is not going to affect the flag register that's what we are going to see here then logically or the accumulator with itself okay to set the zero flag and display the flag at port one or store all the flags on the stack so this is the this is a problem statement we'll see one by one so for that first clear all the flags so first we what we do is we initialize the stack pointer to have some 16 bit memory location so this is that after that we move the value uh, for l the value 0 0 so clear the uh, register l we have hl register in that l register is made to be 0 then push h we have to clear the flag register how we can clear directly you cannot uh, operate on the flag there is no instructions which operate directly on the flag registers so how to clear the flag bits so like this only you can do so how it can do you have to move to the some b registers or c register and then push them into the stack and use pop psw so that when you use pop psw uh, the flag registers uh, whatever the data in the topmost of the stack pointer that will be moved to the flag register and accumulator so using that only you can clear the flags so that is what here we are doing so first we do hl in that l we make we don't know about h but in l we move because uh, the low in l we move the value zero zero then we execute a push h so when you execute a push h h register will be pushed and then on top of that L value will be pushed, which is nothing but 0, 0. Now, when you issue a pop PSW, what happens? The topmost value will be popped to the uh, flag register, and the next value, which is nothing but H value, that is moved to accumulator. So, that is what here it do. So, by using this statement, we have cleared. Our aim is to clear the flag registers. Then, move the value. We want to clear the accumulator. So, this is the second statement low 0 0 h so for that we move the value because uh, after execution of the statement whatever is in the h register that value will be now in accumulator because of this for psw then 0 0 now we um, clear the accumulator also so for that we move the value 0 0 to a now we have to check whether it has affected that carry bit uh, that is zero flag or not because now we have moved a value 0 0 to accumulator so for that, how you can check? Again, you execute a push PSW. Push PSW will do uh, status program status word. So along with accumulator and flag register, it will be pushed. So first value pushed is accumulator, then the second value pushed is the on top most uh, on top of the value the flag bits will be pushed. So now what happens? Now after doing that, we pop the value. Now we have to check. We have pushed. Okay push the value of accumulator and flag registers into the top of the stack. Now you will execute a pop HL. So when you say H uh, in L register flag bit will be moved and in H register the value of the accumulator will be moved. Now next what we do is move the value. We have to check the uh, 
flag bits. So now what we do is we move the in L only the flag bits are there. So that L is moved to accumulator and we uh, display it, uh, display the value of the flags in the output port. Now we can check it. So next is we can check whether it has affected or not. So again, uh, now we'll see that. This is the second part of this logically. Uh, so So if you see this, so initially it was x x ninety nine. Then when you say uh, push, it is uh, push h in h l we have zero zero. So that is moved here. And whatever is in h that is pushed. Okay. Now uh, this track pointer. Yes, now it is present here xx sensor now pop psw so we execute the statement pop psw so in that case uh, these two value will be popped and it will be placed in accumulator so in accumulator uh, and flag register so this is 00, zero is placed in flag register and h is placed in accumulator and then we move the value of for the accumulator 00, zero h then uh, push psw we uh, now since accumulator is also made zero now we push the value okay uh, both the accumulator along with the flag register into that and then we pop it in the hl then we move it to accumulator l the flag flag bits value we move and then we display it on the screen now whatever is in the flag register that will be displayed so we can see that the carry bit is not affected. Suppose uh, since we have made zero zero, uh, the L register, uh, the uh, this will be all will be uh, whatever is the flag register that will be that that is zero 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 all will zero zero all bit will be displayed as zero in the output port. So you can see an output zero zero. So which means uh, the zero bit is not set. If it is one only, you can understand that it is set because of this movement. Then the next one, what we are going to see is uh, the second part of the program. That is logically or the accumulator with itself to set the zero flag. Here, uh, we have moved value zero zero to accumulator, then ORAA. So ORA means uh, if any value, and it is we are doing it with the accumulated itself. Since we have moved zero zero, the zero zero is odd with zero zero. If any one of the input is one, then you will have an one as an output. But here also zero zero, the accumulated we have moved zero zero, and we are ORing it with itself, which means definitely the zero bit will be set. So what happens? Zero zero and zero zero. So push PSW, push PSW is along with accumulator. Accumulator is already zero, zero. So zero value, then flag register. Uh, now the carry, uh, the zero bit will be set, okay, as one. So now we move that to push it into the stack. And not only the zero bit, the sign bit also will be set to be, uh, sorry, the parity bit also will be set to one in order to maintain the even or odd parity accordingly. So what uh, parity this uh, system uh, takes it here, we have even parity. So what happens? Now uh, in the output, I just I'll show you. Uh, here it is move MBAA, then ORAA, then push PSW is, it will push the value zero, zero and status bit. So how the status, what are all the things that will get changed in accumulator? Accumulator will consist of zero, zero, 
the style write down the content of accumulator uh, here okay i'll show you one two three four five six seven and eight so this is the accumulator content then flag register flag register we have seen it consists of this okay the first two is sign bit zero bit d6 is the zero bit and then this is the parity bit d2 so d6 and d2 changes i uh, will see d6 so first it will be zero sign bit will not be set and now it is third bit that is d0 1 2 so this it will be reset so this is the output yes now what we do is uh, this is what happened because zero bit is uh, because of this or definitely tough it says that accumulator value is zero so it results in zero so the zero bit is set and in order to make it as an even parity the parity bit also will be set so the value is nothing but what is this value it is nothing but zero if you write it in hexa uh, first will be zero zero and this will be four 44 so this will be here this is 4 and this is 4 so 44 0 0 44 so 44 will be the uh, 0 0 44 will be there so now what we have what happens this uh, value is pushed push psw so then pop h so when you pop in H register, this value will be there. And in L register, you have this 44. Then move the value of that L because we want to display. It. So what happens? We move the value of L to accumulator. OK, so we would like to know only whether the zero bit is set or not. So what we have to do, except the zero, we have to make only zero bit to appear in the output. So what we do is we move the value of L, which is nothing but this value to accumulator so after the moment your accumulator will consist of this value okay so a will be this value so a will be this value after the moment okay so our accumulator, since we have we have popped HL, when we pop it a H, H will consist of this and L will consist of this value. Okay. So then we move this value, that is uh, 44, this value to accumulator. Then ANI 40H. What is ANI 40H? This is the value now in accumulator. So accumulator is equal to this. So what is 40H? 40H equal. Now we will see that. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then yes, this is for accumulator. So, 0, 0, then we give 0, 0, 0, 0. So, when you do an AND operation, that is what we are doing here. Yes or no? So, here ANI 40H. So, that is what we are doing here ANI. 40 h when you do and operation what will happen 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 also 0 except this bit so this bit is 1 so what will be the output of this i just write output here so 0 1 0 0 and then 0 0 0 0 so this will be the output so now we can say that the 0 bit is set so the, for that we are doing the masking so already know for masking you can go for ani okay so this is what we have done and then finally we output that so uh, what we have seen in this program is first we have cleared all the flags and then we prove that uh, then we have moved a value of 0, 0 to accumulator and we have demonstrated that moving of zero bit is not affecting the carry any flag registers 
then we logically or the accumulator with itself to set the zero flag. Then how to check the zero flag? Again, we push it into the stack and uh, push the PSW into the stack and then pop it in HL registers and then we move the L value to again accumulator and then and it with the uh, 40H because that 40, uh, it will have 0, 1, 0, which, uh, whichever register we want to check in that respective data, we have to place one. Suppose I want to check the value. So for example, I want to check parity bit or auxiliary carry. If I auxiliary carry is set, I would like to know then what data I have to give 0, 0, 0, 1. So which is nothing but 1 and then 0, 0. So how I have to give? I have to check with the data. If I want to check for auxiliary carry, how I can give? It is 0, 0. I have to do AND operation with this data. Okay, so I can check this data with this. So in which case it will give me, so this is that, uh, let me say, uh, this is the accumulator value. Now when you do AND, this also 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 all are 0. So when you say all are 0, you can say that no flag is set. Okay, auxiliary carry is not set. But if I have, if uh, auxiliary carry is set, then definitely, it will give me the output in that if it has one here, then it will give one in the output. So which means we can say that it is the critical is set. So this is how you find out which flag bits are set by using the push and pop operations.